Right now, I am joined by Ashley Greenway, a.k.a. Dollface, who's going to be finally making a pro debut here at Invicta FC 16, live on UFC Fight Pass here on March 11th. Ashley, how are you feeling here today? I'm feeling great. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Oh, oh no worries at all. Now, we're finally going to see you make your debut here for Invicta FC. Uh, what, what people don't realize is you've actually been signed since 2014 with the organization. Uh you know, what's kind of been the delay with them finally getting you on one of their cards? Um, well, it's, it's on my end, not there. So, um, but I had, I had a couple injuries that set me back and then, um, you know, wanted to make a couple more amateur fights and, you know, lost a couple of those fights. And, you know, uh, me and my husband just decided that um, it was just in our best interest for our career to just, like, up and move and sell the team. So, um, that was kind of what has happened in the past two years. Um, so we're finally uh, happy, super excited where we're at. Uh, we're in South Carolina, back where he's from. We're at Revolution in the May, and uh, completely changed, and I'm super excited. I think everything happens for a reason, so I'm ready. Well, absolutely. Now, you're going to be making your pro debut against Sarah Click. Uh, you, you ladies are actually going to be the opening bout of the card. Now, is there any pressure, not only with this being your pro debut, but you being the opening fight uh, for an Invicta FC card? Because those uh, fights typically set the tone for the night, and you got a lot to live up to because we've had some fantastic opening bouts here as of recently here for Invicta. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, actually, I'm super excited. Um just, I guess, from having an advanced amateur record, I've always fought late in the card, um, either, you know, pro main or main event. So I'm I'm really excited. So that means I get to get in there, get out, and watch the rest of the girls. So. <laughs> well, I mean, but, yeah, that's one way of looking at it. I mean, not only can you compete and, you know, make your living that way, but you also get free tickets to watch the rest of the card. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great card, too. I'm so excited to be on it. Now, like I said, with you making your pro debut here against Sarah Click, you know, how much do you know about your opponent with you ladies both making your uh, pro debuts? Is there much that you can find out about, or is it one of those things to where you just kind of work on yourself and just worry about whatever she brings to the table once you guys enter the cage? Yeah, um, absolutely. Like, you know, in the past, I've, I've really studied my opponent, and uh, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so this time... And the past couple of times, I've, I've kind of left that to my coaches. Uh, that's what I love about being at this uh, new gym with Revolution. The coaches are so advanced, and, you know, we they, they pick the game plan for me, and, you know, it's worked these past couple of fights. So I don't know too much about her. I'm not going to really stress on that. I'm focusing on me. Um, I know that I've worked on every single thing, so I'm ready for anything that she has. Now, you're going to be competing in the strawweight division, which is extremely stacked, probably the most loaded division within Invicta FC. You know, how, how important is it not only to get that first victory, but to, to do it in a kind of a spectacular fashion to kind of make yourself stand out there within the division? Because there's a lot of ladies there who are all contending for uh, a title. Uh, you know, for yourself to gain that attention and get that buzz, how important is it to go out and just really set yourself apart? All right, absolutely. I mean, it's super important. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really look into the future like that. That's kind of where, where I've messed up in the past. Um, so I'm really just focused on this. I'm focused on, you know, seeing my games and, you know, everything that I've, I've been working on. Um, so just to go out there and, uh, you know, get a win would be absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to do everything that I can and everything that I've worked on. And, um, you know, just push for the win and look at that in the future. I'm not really focused on that right now. <laughs> Well, as you said, you know, you've had, you've, you know, looked ahead and that's kind of bitching the behind. I mean, that, that happens to fighters. Is that something that as a fighter, you, you can't look too far ahead and because you can't get distracted and things can come and, and throw you for, for a loop? Is that something that you have to maintain your focus on, you know, having that tunnel vision, just looking one fight at a time? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, you know, everybody's fight career is different. Um, you know, mine, I was six and one at the time when I signed and, you know, I, I never thought of losing, you know, that, that was that's never in anybody's, anybody's path, but, um, you know, it happens. And, you know, I, I think those for me have really, you know, set me back and really opened my eyes and just, you know, there's a lot of things that I needed to work on, uh, not only with my fighting, but with myself, um, as far as, you know, changing teams and things like that. And so, you know, I, I don't regret anything that I've, I've ever done or you know, anything that I've ever said. Um, you know, I just, I got a different path. So. Well, absolutely. Now, how important is it for, with you being a female fighter, that Invicta FC is a platform that is around 
for you ladies to go to this gonna you know definitely specifically look at you ladies and, and make sure that what's in the best interest for you and put you on that right career path you know how important is that that you have that in mixed martial arts today and not have to you know worry about these other promoters who are maybe more concerned with the male fighters than they are with the female fighters um, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm super, super blessed and super honored uh, that Invicta picked me up, you know, a couple of years ago and, you know, especially being on this card. Um, as far as other promotions, I've actually, I've actually been blessed. Um, I've fought for great promotions and they've, they've looked after me and, you know, all the female fighters that come through there. Um, I guess that's maybe just from being out of the Carolinas, out of North and South Carolina. Um, you know, every promotion around here just really focuses on their females. It's not... It's not just the males around here. Um, I do see a lot of that happening, you know, across the, the world and stuff. But for me, I've, I've been pretty lucky. So I, I can't, I don't, I don't have any complaints in that. <laughs> now, now, one thing we definitely want the fans to know is you have started a GoFundMe account to help pay for your medicals uh, to get prepared here for the fight. You know, that that's a side of, of fighting a lot of fans don't see and don't know much about. You know, uh, kind of tell us about, you know, what's all involved with you before you can even get into a fight, uh, having to cover those medicals and get all that together. Oh, yeah, wow. Um, so <laughs> that was actually a on me, too. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> um but, yeah, I mean, especially, I guess, with Las Vegas, because, um, I mean, like, around here with the pro circuit, it, you know, it's just your typical, your blood in your eye, you know, like every other fight, um, especially for pro fighters. Um, so getting that thrown on was, you know, oh, it was overwhelming. But um, I have I have an amazing support. Um, I mean, it, it's absolutely blown me away. I've raised so much money, and I'm just, like, beyond grateful. I, I can't even tell you, but... It's super expensive, um, but people's come through and they've really helped out, and uh, you know I still got it up and going, and you know, I'm, I'm almost there with it. Um, but having that stress off me is uh, it's so relieving. <laughs> I, cause, I mean, I'm, I'm sure not everyone's blessed like that, so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. As we record this, you know, you're very close to your goal for that. So we want to make sure that the fans uh, definitely go uh, to that GoFundMe account. We'll make sure we tweet that out to everybody to let them know uh, about that. Now, before we go, we want to make sure that you give a shout out to the sponsors who are also helping you get prepared here for your pro debut live in Las Vegas out of all places. I mean, you're in the fight capital of the world now. That's big. It's so big. It's such a huge car. There's so many awesome girls on that car on. I was blown away when I got the call, so. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, my sponsors, as of right now, and, um, and I'm still looking for those, too, so if anybody out there wants to get on Team Cafe, just let me know. Um, but as far as that, Martial Arts Life, um, they're doing a walkout with Sheriff, and he's, he's been there, you know, for a couple months, and I really appreciate everything he's done. And uh, Demaki, he's been with me since the first day that I signed with him, Victor. I love him, and I love his support. Um, just picked up Mighty Mouse Guards. Uh, super excited to have them. Moxie Fight Hair, she takes care of my hair for all my fights. Um, Harper Avery, I appreciate all the donations and help that deserve for me. Uh, the Fight Doctors, they're a huge, huge support out of my gym. Um, if it wasn't for them, I don't, I just can't, I don't even know. <laughs> um, and of course, my gym revolution, MMA, uh, everybody out there works super hard and they've prepared me for this fight and I can't thank them enough. Um, and Howard Filler with uh, Zion Bands, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, and I can't wait for finally meet him and get the work. I should tell you it's Victor. <laughs> Well, absolutely. Again, you're going to be making that pro debut opening fight here in Victor FC 16 live on UFC Fight Pass March 11th, Trinidad Pavilion inside the Tropicana. I can't stress enough to sponsors. This is a great opportunity uh, to sponsor a young fighter who's going to be making her debut. And not to mention, you're going to be on Fight Pass. Who doesn't love Fight Pass? And not to mention, I mean, and, and I, I got to say this. Yeah, and, I, and I have to say this, and I've said this, you know, numerous times before, as someone who's actually been able to cover quite a few of the first and uh, Invicta cards and, and some of the recent cards as well. Invicta doesn't put on events that suck. So by no stretch of the imagination or is anyone going to miss any kind of action. This is going to be jam-packed with just so much great fights and young fighters. And Ashley is a prime example of that. So I encourage anyone, if you don't have Fight Pass, to sign up for it uh, to catch that card here on March 11th. So uh, anything else, Ashley, you want to give a shout-out to anybody else or, uh, or anything else that you got on your mind here before we go? Yeah, um, just a special thank you to Julie and Shannon. I mean, if it weren't for you guys and believing in, in me and my talent, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at for y'all. So thank you, and 
thanks for giving me the opportunity to find such a big car, especially for my point of view. I can't thank you enough. I'm super excited. Well, absolutely. Ashley, we will see you in action again here on March 11th on UFC, UFC Fight Pass. Uh, we appreciate you taking our time with us. We, I love the Southern accent. Don't ever change that for anyone. <laughs> that, that's, 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 Unfortunately, it's, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> you know, we love that Southern charm, but we know you're not going to bring that to the cage. You're going to bring the violence, and we, we also love that as well. And if anyone hasn't seen Ashley in action, make sure you go check her out on uh, YouTube. Just uh, YouTube uh, Ashley Greenway. You'll see pretty much all of her fights on YouTube. So you can get familiar with her before she makes her debut. But again, we appreciate you taking out time with us here on Punch to the Face. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. No worries at all, and best of luck here. You have uh, excuse me on you know, UFC Fight Pass here for Invicta FC 16. Best of luck. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.